Banks have been struggling a lot these past few weeks, and yields are dropping very quickly. In fact, even the one-year treasury has fallen from its highs of 5.25 to 4.25% in just seven days. That's really rough. So in this video, we'll talk about some of the best long-term CDs to hopefully help anyone looking to lock in the highest rates possible. Specifically, we'll be focusing on three to five year durations. So without further ado, let's dive right in. As many of you know, CDs stand for Certificates of Deposits. You agree to lock up your money for a given duration, often for a few months to a couple years. In return, banks generally offer you higher interest rates. Essentially, they're like a powered up version of a savings account. And when the CD matures, you can either choose to renew it again at a very high rate or just cash it out and spend it however you like. Now, there are penalties if you cancel your CD early, like losing three to six months worth of interest. It's not a big deal, but generally speaking, it's best practice to only deposit money that you won't need anytime soon. But overall, CDs are incredible ways to earn really high rates with very minimal risk. And one of the best options is Summit Credit Union. They're offering 4.85% APY on a three-year CD with a minimum deposit of just $500. That's absolutely phenomenal, especially considering that it's much higher than what treasury notes are currently offering. Keep in mind that credit unions are NCUA insured for up to $250,000 per account owner, very similar to FDIC insurance. So your money is fully protected by the US government. And special thanks to the Safety Doc for this recommendation. I haven't tried them myself, but they are certainly a very high yield option. And personally, for those types of rates, I'd probably give them a five star rating. Plus, their 13 and 22 month CDs are also very solid at 4.4 and 4.65% respectively. And for five year CDs, an amazing option is Discover Bank. You might know them as a credit card issuer and they have a very diversified set of products. All of this is to say that banking makes up a relatively small portion of their business, so it's highly unlikely for them to struggle as much as other banks have in recent weeks. And right now, they're offering 4.3% APY on three-year CDs and 4.1% APY on five to 10-year CDs. Both are very good options, but their minimum deposit is $2,500. Personally, I'd rate Discover an easy four and a half stars. They have great customer service, a wide variety of products, and wonderful customer service. 10-year non-callable CDs are also pretty hard to find, so Discover offers a really good niche product. And coming in at number five is Ally Bank. They also offer great customer service and are very good with technology. Right now, they're offering 4.25% APY for three to five year CDs, and that's about 15 basis points higher than Discover Bank. And what makes them a tiny bit better is that there are no minimum deposits. Plus, there's a 0.05% loyalty reward if you renew your CD with Ally Bank. So overall, I'd give them 4.5 stars as well. Very similar advantages like Discover, but with a slightly higher yield. And at number four is Synchrony Bank. They're offering 4.3% APY for three to five year CDs with no minimum balances. That said, it's only about five basis points higher than Ally Bank. And personally, I'd give them 4.5 stars as well. I'd say that their mobile apps and websites are less interesting to look at, but their customer service is very good. And overall, I say that Synchrony Bank is a very good option. And coming in at number three is Alliant Credit Union. You might know them for their amazing credit card that offers 2.5% cash back on all purchases. And right now, they're offering some really good banking products, including a five-year CD at 4.35% APY. Now, that's only five basis points higher than Secret Name Bank, but that is 25 basis points higher than the likes of Discover. Like Summit, this is a credit union with NCUA insurance, so your money is fully protected by the US government. Their minimum deposit is also just $1,000. So overall, I'd give Alliant a four and a half star rating as well. Personally, I'd say they have really good customer service and those high rates are just a very nice cherry on top. And next up is BMO Harris. 
They're a very well-known international bank with a $60 billion market cap. Plus, they're offering some of the highest rates possible right now. They may fluctuate a bit depending on your location, but at least here on the West Coast, they're offering 4.5% APY for a five-year CD with a minimum deposit of just $1,000. These are non-callable CDs as well, so you are guaranteed to lock in a very high rate for honestly quite a long time. And personally, I'd give BMO Harris the five star rating. They're diversified across borders and they offer some really amazing rates. Plus they have good customer service, so it's an easy five star rating. And coming in at number one will always be near and dear to my heart, and that is brokered CDs. These are the same as bank CDs, but you can buy them through your favorite broker. Your money is still FDIC insured, but you have the added convenience of managing all of your money through a single platform with a wide variety of banks to choose from. For example, on Charles Schwab, there are five year non-callable CDs offered by Morgan Stanley at 4.75% APY. These are locked in guaranteed rates. Now, if you wanna take on a bit more risk, there are callable CDs like Bank of Bird in Hand offering 5.4% APY. The only major downside is that if interest rates continue to fall, these banks may cancel your CD early before the maturity date. You'll still get all of your money back plus any accrued interest. However, you won't be earning that rate anymore and you'll have to find a new CD. And personally, I'll always give broker CDs an easy five-star rating. You'll always get the most competitive rates while also having the convenience, customer service, and the flexibility offered by your favorite broker. Plus, the three-year CDs are especially good with 4.9% non-callable options with Morgan Stanley and 5.2% for callable CDs. And at the end of the day, I'd say that broker CDs are my personal pick. I don't have to open new accounts with other banks, and I know that I have both FDIC and SIPC insurance on my side in case anything goes wrong. But as always, I'd love to know your thoughts and if you have other banks that you'd recommend. Have a great rest of your day and take care. Have a good one.